My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for our dinners this week, I'm gonna focus on using up stuff that's been in my freezer for a while. So I'm going to be making these tamales and also some black beans. And then I'm going to make a quick and easy Mexican rice. I'm gonna be using this bouillon. And this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it. So I'm gonna be making my rice just the way I normally make rice. But when I add in my water, I'm gonna add in this bouillon as well. So let's get started. Okay, so here's how I do my Mexican rice. I have some oil in the pan, probably two to three tablespoons of oil. I've got some onion and garlic in there as well. And all I'm gonna do is drop in one cup of jasmine rice. I'm gonna give it a stir. That's Harrison, of course. I'm gonna give it a stir and let this rice get a little bit brown. Now, I do have a recipe on our channel for Mexican style, um, I'm sorry, restaurant style Mexican rice, and I'll link that in the description box. But this is just my quick and easy way that I make Mexican rice. So again, I'm just gonna let this get brown. Okay, so my rice is getting brown. Now I'm just gonna pour in my water. I'm using a cup and a half of water and then I'm using two teaspoons of that bouillon. And then I'm just gonna give it a stir, cover it up and let it cook. Okay, so here's our dinner, here's the rice and then I just made some black beans. Here are the tamales, I added some salsa and cheese on top hopefully that cheese will melt and then howard is having some avocado with his i'm having the exact same thing without the avocados so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time so our freezer meal tonight is korean food so we are having some chicken fried rice and we are having some crunchy chicken with sweet and spicy sauce i really like this a lot Howard isn't crazy about it because he says the chicken is too crunchy, but this is what the chicken looks like. I made it in my air fryer. And then this is what the fried rice looks like. It does come with peas, but we always take those out before um, I make it. And you can make it in the skillet or the microwave. I always make mine in the skillet. It tastes a lot better that way. And then we are also having some steamed dumplings from the same brand. And it comes with a little dipping sauce, pork and vegetable, and here they are. And Howard did pop these in the microwave to steam them. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. Let me show you what I pulled from my freezer. Um, this chicken I had in my freezer, and I think it's dark meat and white meat, so I'm using that. Um, I've got some chicken broth here, sour cream, got some melted butter, and um, I think I mentioned the herb stuffing mix, which is in the bowl. Um, I did record a video, it's been over a year ago, uh, chicken and dressing casserole that I grew up eating, and I'll link that video in the description box. This one is a little bit different. It's called Easy Chicken Casserole. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start out with the stuffing portion and I am using the entire bag of the stuffing, which is 12 ounces. The recipe calls for eight ounces, but I felt like four ounces wasn't gonna make that big of a difference. I didn't wanna put it back in my pantry. So I just added my chicken broth and I'm adding in my butter. The recipe calls for margarine, but I prefer butter. And if I didn't mention it, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. And then I'm just gonna stir this up. Now I'm gonna pour about half of that stuffing mixture into my pan. This is a nine by 13. The recipe calls for a nine inch pan, but I just felt like that was gonna be too small um, for this casserole. So I'm using a nine by 13 and I'm pouring the majority of it, probably about 75% of it into the bottom. And then I'm just gonna to top it with my chopped chicken. So 
So next, I'm gonna spread my sour cream mixture on top. I failed to show you the cream of chicken when I showed you the ingredients. So this is actually sour cream and cream of chicken that I just stirred together. And I'm just putting this right on top. And I'm glad I trusted my instincts. That nine inch pan would have been way too small for this casserole. All right, so I'm just gonna finish spreading this out. I'm gonna top the rest of, um, that's Harrison in the background. I'm gonna add the rest of my stuffing mixture on top and then I'm gonna bake this for about 45 minutes. Okay, so here's the casserole and I did try it. It is good, but I do think it needed more broth. Um, and I did add a little bit of extra broth, maybe a fourth of a cup because I added some extra um, of that um, stuffing mix, but it really needs more broth. Um, but anyway, this is Howard's plate and I just made some instant mashed potatoes. These are the ones that I used. I only had the white cheddar, I didn't have just plain, but honestly, they really don't taste like white cheddar. They taste just savory. Um, so that, and then I also made some fried cabbage. And then this is my plate. I made sweet potatoes. Howard does not like sweet potatoes, and that's why I made him the instant mashed potatoes. But I did record a video a while back ago on how I make my sweet potatoes and how I make my fried cabbage. So I will try to find those and link those videos in the description box. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making sausage and potatoes. Now I have made this before on our channel. The only difference is, is last time I made it in the air fryer, this time I am going to pop it into the oven. Uh, so I'll make sure to link that rest that video in the description box so you all can see the recipe that I used. But this is everything that I'm gonna be using, some potatoes, mushrooms, onions, using a turkey sausage, and then this Lipton onion soup mix. I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to add some fresh broccoli florets, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but let me get started. Okay, so I'm getting ready to pop everything into the oven. I did not end up putting the fresh onions in there because I remembered last time I made this, I actually added fresh bell peppers. And I didn't have any fresh bell peppers, so I had this frozen three pepper onion blend, and so it has onions in there. So. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, so here's our dinner. This is Howard's plate, and I am serving it with some yeast rolls. This is what I'm using. These were in my freezer, needed to use them up. I think I prefer um, the sausage the first time I made it in the air fryer. Um, one thing is, is I'm using frozen peppers and onions, which nothing's wrong with that, but I think and something like this, you definitely need fresh, so I prefer that. Also, the first time I used just a regular sausage, I think it was beef or pork, I don't remember, instead of turkey, so it's a little bit drier, whereas I think the um, other sausage that I used kind of flavored the rest of the, the meal, the potatoes and stuff. It just had more flavor. Um, but anyway, this is Howard's plate, this is my plate. So I'm having a little bit of rice. I know it's a lot of starch, but I remember last time I made it, I remember thinking I wish I had some rice. So I have a small portion of rice and I just have my meat over that. And I've got some potatoes on the side. And then I've got my rolls too. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is called Quick Broccoli Pasta, and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But what I've added to my saucepan so far is just some um, whipping cream. And now I'm adding in some chicken broth. I'm actually using bouillon and just the water, of course. And then I am adding bunch of different things here. I've got garlic salt, onion powder, cornstarch, and I think that's it. And so you're supposed to add everything in at the same time and then bring this mixture to a, um, a simmer. And then once it thickens up, I'll come back and show you what comes next. Okay, so my mixture thickened up and next it says to add in Parmesan cheese and uh, cheddar cheese and then to stir it in until it melts. OK, 
Okay, I've got my cheese all blended, and I forgot to mention that while I was, um, when I added in the cheese, I did remove it from the burner. Um, and so now it's back on the burner, but the burner, of course, is off. And what I'm adding in now is my pasta and broccoli mixture that I boiled. So I'm just adding that in and gonna give it a good stir, and you're gonna salt and pepper to taste if you need it. And that is it, easy peasy. Okay, so here's dinner. I tasted it and I think it's pretty tasty. I would definitely make it again. And I'm just serving it with a side salad. So Howard's gonna have this Thousand Island and then I'm gonna have this um, organic Trader Joe's dressing that needs to be used up. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.